Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to solo bandos. Now, um, if you go through my channel, you'll find I actually have a lot of videos on bandos, um, but none of them actually official guides. Um, some of them I explain things, but not really a real true guide to how to solo bandos. So bandos is um, one of my favorite bosses. I made lots of money from bandos in the in the past. Um, in old school, I have two videos of getting um, a bandos task set solo on two separate occasions. Um, which are like 20 mil each now. Um, in the last two weeks from Bandos Duos, I've gotten chest plate, boots, um, lots of good drops. I mean, unfortunately, like, if you go there on an average trip, you will not get anything, but if you are persistent, you will get those Bandos armor pieces drops and um, hopefully a hilt as well. Um, he also drops elite clues, and you have a chance of getting a uh, pet, which is always another little bonus. So, to basically soloing Bandos is not the most efficient way to kill him. The most efficient is by far a duo. Um, with a duo, you can get um, as many as, as much as like 40 kills a trip with a very precise setup, um, and you're only splitting the drops in half. Whereas with like trio or four person, like you might get a drop, but you only might get a mill or two split. So it's like, what's the point? Um, but the fun thing about solo is that you can still get a few kills. Um, generally speaking, depending on how the trip goes, and if you get a drop, it's all yours. You don't have to split it with anybody. So, um, the most efficient way to do this, I found, is with a, a, a setup similar to this. Um, obviously, you want to wear the Varex skirt when you actually get in there. Basically, what this build, you can use the Kraken Whip, and but I'm just not really a fan of the Kraken Whip. Like I feel like I would go through so many whips, and whips are over 2 mil right now and that really can cut into your profits um, even if you do get a drop and if you don't get a drop you're going to be losing a ton of money from losing those whips um, so the regular abyssal whip is fine but if you have a crack and whip obviously you would want to use that um, you do need magic defense because there is a major and if you went in there with like a guthans play buddy instead of this you would have very low magic defense and you would take damage constantly from the major so it's really just in required to have some magic defense um, a black dehyde body is a perfect replacement for the curls other top. This just gives slightly more magic and um, range defense. So you can see there's a big difference when you just put on the one piece of armor. You get a big boost in magic defense. So the Varax is a great armor for Bandos because it has um, no negative magic defense. Um, I think the other Barrows do, so that's a pretty big plus. Um, and it gives a very strong defense, and it also gives a, a major prayer bonus. It's pretty similar to Proslet. Um, look at that. I would go from 7 to 14. Um, I think this gives 3, and this gives 4. Yeah, that would make 7. Um, so that's a very useful... This is a very useful armor. You could replace the Varax Plate Skirt with Tassets um, if you have them, and that would be fine. You'd have a little bit less prayer, but you'd still probably be okay. Um, if you don't have a Varax Helm, um, you could replace this with a Nezi, which is a very good alternative. Also, the um, the Serpentine Helm is another good... Um, I think I actually have a Serpentine Helm, so I can use that. Um, but the Varax Helm is nice because you get the Prayer and you get a sizable amount of defense, um, including range defense. Um, so that's a very worthwhile thing to get. Fire Cape is just the best cape in the game, so I'd recommend you bring that. Um, on duos, I usually just bring a skill cape because the prayer bonus. Um, fire cape still has a bit of prayer bonus though, and it also has a nice strength bonus and a little bit of accuracy. Fury is just the best amulet you can buy, so I'd recommend that. Obviously, you can use a glory if you don't have that. Dragon boots are probably the best. Um, Bandos boots, Bandos boots might be slightly better, but I don't see much of a difference. Barrows gloves you should have by now if you're doing Bandos. Um, there's really no excuse to have like a combat bracelet or a regen bracelet or something newbie like that. It's not that hard to get Barrow's Gloves. Um, this is a little controversial. You can bring a Ring of Life, and that's what I'm going to be doing because the servers have been very unstable. Um, but when the servers are better, or if I'm going with a team, I like to bring a Warrior Ring imbued. Um, my war Warrior Ring isn't imbued right now because the servers crashed, and I had to go run back and pick it up. And when you die, it loses the imbue. So that's something to consider. If you have a Berserker Ring, you can also bring that, a nice 8 plus 8 strength bonus. Um, but again, Ring of Life is very convenient. Um, even though right now it's the way things work, you can you have 30 minutes to collect your stuff. It's uh, very inconvenient and frustrating to have to die at Bandos. 
As for the shield, I recommend the crystal shield. Uh, mine's almost gone, actually, but it gives extremely high range defense. I think it's by far the best in the game. I'm better than a DFS. Um, look at that. Huge range defense. Is that 70? Yeah, I don't want to try doing math, but that might be 80, actually. Let's see. 35 minus 100 would be 65, and then another... F I think that's 80. I'm not... Yeah, I think I'm right. Anyway, so that's probably the best option other than an Elijah. And if you have an Elijah, you probably don't want to be doing Bandos anyway, because you probably have all the money you could ever need. But um, you can also bring a Dragon Defender, but you do lose out on major defense bonuses. In fact, the Dragon Defender also takes away range defense. Um, so you actually have better range defense without the Defender on, which is pretty crucial. Um, it's, a, it's a decent option, but I would just recommend the Crystal Shield over that. Um, you do lose out on a lot of accuracy without the defender. Obviously, you have a much less slash bonus, but you're pretty much counting on the fact that you're going to be able to hit with 99 attack, piety, and super attacks. His defense is extremely high, and for duos, if you're not tanking, I would recommend the Dragon Defender, but for solos, I'd recommend you stick with the Crystal Shield, which hopefully can make it through this video, because it's only at 1 out of 10. And make sure you imbue it through the Nightmare Zone so it keeps its stats. Um, as for other weapons, well, also you need to bring a Zami weapon, I mean a Zami item. Bandos item is optional, but it helps. Um, Zami Robe Legs is what I usually use. I mean, I just keep a hold of them and they get prayer bonus. And It really doesn't matter though, you can bring one of these, you can bring one of these. Um, any Zami item, and you don't have to be wearing it during the kill either. So, you know, pick whatever you want, but a Zami item is pretty much required. An Abandos item is helpful to have some monsters not attack you. Um, some replacements also is the Dr Dragon Square Shield is also okay, but not quite as much range defense. Um, also you have, for spec weapons, you also have the Dragon Halberd, which hits twice, which is pretty good. You can also use the Crystal Halberd if you have that. Um, the best spec weapon for Bandos by far is the Bandos Godsword because now it's actually even better because it only takes 65% of the special bar and it lowers defense based on what you hit and because his defense is so high if you can hit a nice 50 or even if you hit a 30 or 20 it'll make the kill significantly easier because you can hit him much more accurately so that's the best god sword to use I'd say the second best would be the Saradom and god sword um, for a spec it restores your HP and prayer, so that's very useful to use on the minions because they have low defense and you're pretty much guaranteed to hit them. Um, but I would not recommend using a God Sword as your primary weapon. Um, I'd say a whip is still better. Um, you know, in RuneScape, the slow weapons that are more powerful tend to be worse than the weapons that are faster and slightly less powerful, just because the weapons like the whip are going to do more damage um, per minute, basically on average, even on high defense monsters. Not as much, but um, it's still noticeable. So you want to revert some tabs to Trollheim tabs um, using the scrolls from the Nightmare Zone. Make sure you bring two. And Bones to Peaches tabs are very nice because you can use this on four sets of bones from each kill, and this will help you last a bit longer since the Peaches give eight um, HP each. Um, I'd recommend a normal superset. I don't think these super combats are worth bringing for solos like it's only one extra inventory space and you're paying an extra like 8,000 GP um, I don't think it's worth it personally you can bring it if you want or if you have a bunch of them one super restored one prayer pot is usually what you need even if you're getting over three kills you're not going to need more prayer than this unless you have much less prayer bonus and one brew for your defense as well and always remember a hammer um, what I'd recommend is once you have your inventory set up you take a picture of it and that way you can basically just make sure you have your hammer in this. I always have my hammer on the second spot from the bottom right, from the top right, and that way I'm, I never forget my hammer. If you do forget a hammer, just turn back and go get one. Um, it usually takes longer to kill imps for a hammer, so I wouldn't recommend that. But anyway, I mean, you could substitute things in here as you wish. Um, and if you have anything, if you think anything's better that I could be using, feel free to leave a suggestion. But this has definitely worked well for me in the past few years, few years or actually pretty longer than that. I remember my first, I had a, my first real solo drop was like 2009. I got a Bandos hilt and it was like 25 mil at the time. Those were some good times. Anyway, so let's head down, let's, let's head to the boss once and for all. And yes, of course, just fill up your inventory with sharks um, past that. And this is basically what your inventory should look like once you're all set up. 
again substitute anything that you want so use your Trollheim tablet um, if you didn't do Eager's Ruse I recommend you just do that quest so you can get this um, this teleport you can also if you don't have tabs or whatever you can just use the the spell um, but this is certainly extremely worth doing that quest for because walking here from like the from like Barthorpe that takes like 10 minutes and it's just not worth it like at all to not do that quest see so pray range here I mean I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this but I'll show it anyway then you need either, either 60 strength or 60 agility and you can get through here and run as fast as you can because your run energy is going to be it's going to be taken away so yeah but you can actually get pretty far before your run energy is gone and then use your one percent when you get it and always pray melee for these guys they can hit actually pretty high like tens and stuff and you don't want to have to deal with that because every HP is precious once you get in you can um, pray mage and as long as you have a zami item you're good um, you don't need a bandos item for this part and it looks like there's someone here so you can just hop worlds if you don't have the Zamorak item you can kill the hobgoblins over there um, there's not much point though you really could just bring a Zami item it's not that hard to find one and you pretty much just kill these goblins um, one benefit of also using the whip is the kill count is much quicker with um, a whip using a god versus using a god sword and this doesn't take very long um, you might get an easy clue scroll I recommend you probably it's debatable whether you can pick it up um, you probably won't get a clue scroll during the trip but you always have that chance of an elite and I did get two elites from Bandos recently um, on duo so I'd say probably you don't want to pick it up and you also might get a champion scroll which um, would you definitely do want to pick up one thing I didn't go over was stats um, first of all you definitely need to have 70 prior for piety that's like kind of a must in terms of other stats for melee stats I'd recommend I mean you could do this at level 85 for like all these but you probably only need to get one kill a trip at best um, I'd recommend at least 90 plus for all of these um, 90 90 in a skill is not even halfway to 99 and it's almost like 90 percent of the effectiveness of 99 so I'd recommend you just at least get 90s if not just get everything to 99 that's even preferable but like if you want to do slayer for 126 combat that's a very good choice and you could have pretty high 90 plus skills without um, having them at 99 I mean 97 is not gonna make much of a difference from 99 so I wouldn't worry about that too much but having 99s and everything here does help alright so once you have 40 kill count um, if you don't have a bandos item you will just go north here and check um, I'll show you that you just pray melee all these orcs will attack you and we see there that there is um, people there so you might just have to kill this hobgoblin and then you could keep popping worlds um, if you do have a bandos item and I do but I can't equip it yet um, because I have no inventory space then you you can just go straight to the door right over there um, but otherwise you can just come here and search for a world alright so once we found our world we will um, pr protect from melee on and then um, my setup is kinda unique with the BGS but what I'll do here is just um, bang on the door and then really drop the hammer and then you just put on the BGS and uh, only one or two things should be attacking you if you don't have a bandos item you just pray mage and pot up beforehand and then just run, all, run through this um, so once you do this you will drink your brew I'm just gonna drink two doses I took a bit of damage from the hobble goblins normally you only drink one and you should have over 100 HP just like that and then you have a little bit more of your brew for later um, always at least have two more doses after the initial um, potting up make sure your quick prayers are set to this melee piety and protect from item and then once you get in just immediately equip your stuff and so the strategy we're gonna be using here is um when when you eat food normally there's a oh nice he's almost already dead well not already dead but um first you just use your spec right away there's no reason to delay that wow 63 that's a nice spec this should be an easy kill um, when you eat normally you can't attack for a while there's a little bit of like lag not the same type of like internet lag but um just there's delay between after you hit and when you can actually eat um, so you like you want to just run away as you eat so he can't attack you either um, see like right now I couldn't attack him because I'm eating sharks um, and you can't attack for a second or two after you eat so you don't want to be tanking during that delay um, and when he's low HP you can just 
sometimes swing with the god sword. See, it worked out there um, just to finish him off. And then you very wa quickly want to kill these minions. Um, my kill count should be way higher than that, except that when that kill count released, everyone started at zero, so that's how it is. Um, you want to kill these guys very quickly. You pray mage, and then um, you pray range. Always leave the melee or last. The ranger and the major do a ton of damage if you um, aren't praying um, against them. Especially the ranger. The ranger can hit like 20s and pretty quickly too. So um, it's kind of rough if you don't uh, kill them quickly. Um, the melee isn't very accurate, but he will still hit 20s occasionally. There's always a chance of getting comboed by these guys, but it's just so rare that it happens. Like theoretically you can be at 60 or 70 HP and just die instantly before you can do anything, but that's requires a lot of things to happen. Um, because the BGS was buffed recently, I can almost already spec again. You can spec at 65%, and it also does more damage. I think it does 21% damage, which is almost as much as an AGS. Uh, See, so already I can spec again. If you're duoing, um, this isn't a duo guide, but if you're doing, basically every other kill you want to spec twice. Um, it gives the other person a chance to restore. Oh, that's a very nice drop, the chili potato. So you really got to hurry here. I'm going to take my prayer right away. Then uh, bonus to peaches. It's a, a little bit stressful because you have to do a lot of things very quickly right now. Take these bones, these bones. Then we're gonna heal up as much as we can. Just be ready with your quick prayer for him to come back. See, he's already back, and I got punched. See, that was like kind of. Oh, it was not much I really could have done there because there was a lot of things to do. Uh, take whatever loot you want. The cosmic runes are actually generally worth picking up. They um. They add up quite quickly, and it's hard to get Cosmics otherwise. Oh, I guess with the G, it's not a big deal. So that's another decent spec. Um, his HP should, his defense should be a little bit lower now, um, so the whip can it soften him up for the whip a little bit. Again, you can't eat while you're attacking, so I'm just going to run away, so he can't attack me either. You can attack while you're drinking potions, even brews, so keep that in mind. Although, if you drink brews, you're going to have to drink a bunch of other potions anyway. So again... Uh, we're going to eat up a little bit, and then just, even when you're done eating, don't attack him right away, because your character won't attack. Your character will run up to Bandos, but he won't attack him, because there's still a the little lag after you eat. Again, we're going to run away here. Okay, now I'm proper HP, but I'm going to wait, and then I can attack oh, right away. Okay, we can eat a chili potato now, but it's not really worth the effort. And just always have your mouse, like, right, right here because you want to be ready to run. Now I think this is a good chance. Yeah, he, he's doing a lot of damage now. Lucky we're going to get out of here. Um, this kill is taking a little while. Hopefully we can... Uh, do, it's it's hard sometimes because you can't always deal enough damage. Normally, we can pot, we can uh, use our brew here as well. Normally you would want to use your brew um, in between kills, but we just didn't have time. And now our stats are back to full. And uh, hopefully, he's just been hitting really well, which has been the problem with this kill. But uh, hopefully we can tank a little bit. Okay, that was not that good. You really just want to hope that he hits a bunch of zeros, because your range defense is so high. And I'm trying to hold off right now, just so I can uh, use Bones to Peaches to heal up. Yeah, see, when that misses, it's a real bit problem, because now you got to... Oh, oh my god, this is really bad. You're just going to risk it. Okay, sometimes risking it pays off, and sometimes you're... You die and have to waste 20 minutes getting your stuff back, so I'd say usually you shouldn't risk it, but I felt like at that time. And uh, yeah, again, kill these guys very quickly. Um, sometimes it's really frustrating, especially if you're using a god sword, because you just don't hit, and uh, they will deal so much damage. Yeah, look at that, they just dealt a ton of damage. Uh, they could have actually killed me there. It's um, kind of scary sometimes. Anyway, so it doesn't really look like we can get another kill, but it's always possible, and I recommend that you st stick around and um, try. Because worst case, like, well, worst case scenario, you die, but that's always a risk coming here. Um, a more likely scenario is that we try and, you know, probably won't get the kill, but then we just tell you out. I mean, it's worth using your uh, food here to try. You can also be a little um, proactive here and, and start picking things up right away. So that's a good idea sometimes. Um, heading over there is going to be a little more tricky. We can kind of hit and run. Okay, that's nice. 
And hopefully we have just enough time here. We can't use the altar again, so we're just going to bones to peaches. And eat these quickly. And then we're going to use our brew dose again, because we want to um, have time for this. Pot to full. And then you just, you kind of want to keep your, we can BGS spec again, I'm pretty sure. Keep your food nice and organized. There's no reason not to BGS spec with the very first hit, by the way. I'm just forgetting. See, we hit a zero, so this is going to be kind of tough. Because his defense is really high, and plus, we don't have that much food. And always eat food if you can. Like, don't say, like, okay, I'm going to conserve food by leaving my HP at 60. Because it's just going to create more problems when he hits again. Okay, so we're going to probably eat again here. We could eat two of these, I think. Actually, I think that would be wasteful. Okay, these are both got to go. So you can get up to three kills. I've never, like, four kills would be, like, absolutely insane because usually three kills is quite rare. Um, as you see here, this kill is not looking too good. But uh, getting two kills is still very good. Okay, so there's no reason to run or anything here. We're just uh, got to tell you out. You can go back. Um, if you almost kill him, the thing about um, Grardor is that his HP restores very quickly. So if he's at, like, one eighth HP. By the time you get back there, he's almost going to be a full HP. But you can run back and get kill count, and uh, you'll have a little bit of an edge because his HP will be a little bit, little bit lower from the last attempt to kill him. But uh, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Um, one thing I also recommend, I will show you right here, is an ecumenical key. Um, you get these from the God Wars dungeon in the wilderness, just um, kind of north of here, um, north of the bandit camp. Uh, the bandit camp. And um, these allow you to go into the boss room without getting kill count. So if you die or something, it's it's handy to have one of these so you can go right in and get your stuff. Um, at the moment, because the servers are so laggy, they have it set where um, when you die, you have 30 minutes to get your stuff. So theoretically, you can just go get kill count and get your stuff back. But it's um, a lot less stressful to just use the key and immediately go get your stuff right away. So always have one of these in your bank at all times. Um, you should never run out of these until unless you're actually using the last one. And then uh, once you do that, go get more. So that's about it, really. I mean, solos, you just have to kind of keep doing them. You know, it took a, it took many months of doing solos to get that first task that's drop. And then, um, you know, so that was kind of average luck. I mean, I got the best item I, you could possibly get, um, other than like an elite clue with third age or something. But um, as for the second task that's drop, I actually got that like within only a few solos so it's kind of very kind of varies how lucky you can get but like I said you can also get elite clues you can get a pet so it's kind of worth it's definitely worth doing solos although in the long run I would say that that duoing is the best option um, you just can't get you know like I said 40 kills per trip if you're really uh, efficient with it um, versus two or three or sometimes even one if, if the trip goes bad you might only get one kill or in rare circumstances, you might not even get a single kill. I mean, sometimes you're just going to hit a ton of zeros, and he's going to keep, keep hitting 35s. And there's not much you can really do about it, other than just try to maximize your setup and all that. So that's it for my Bando solo guide. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as for lower level players, I mean, you could kind of just sub... Like I said, you could substitute things in yourself. This, was, this guide was intended for high level players. Um, but you know you can try your best but I'd say if you're lower than 85 stats it's probably not worth doing bandos until you get those stats um, so anyway guys like this video if you enjoyed join my clan chat Andrew AJT62 it's the same as my YouTube name it's not the same as my uh, runescape name um, Andrew AJT62 join it and um, I'm always in there when I'm online you could say hi to me and all that ask questions whatever you want to do um, also you know Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, comment if you have any questions. If you have any suggestions, um, I'm always welcome. I always read all my comments, so it's very nice to do. It's one of my favorite things to do on YouTube is just to read the comments. Um, of course, you get those stupid like buy gold here comments that I have to go through and delete, but um, it's worth it in the end. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I probably will be making more videos now. Um, I got back from, I finished finals and I got back from college um, around a week ago, so I have a little bit more time now. Um, also, I'm playing a bit of RuneScape now. Um, my wrists have actually been hurting, so I've actually been playing less Smash Bros and more RuneScape, um, oddly enough. I'm just kind of resting my wrists and my setup at home is not very, um, it's not very 
damaging to my wrist because they're kind of resting when I can play RuneScape, whereas when I'm playing Smash Bros. with a GameCube controller, it's very intensive, and that um, that's what I have to take a break from. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Join the clan chat, all that, and uh, have a good one. And good luck. Let me know if you guys get anything good from Bandos. I'd be very happy to know.